It's time now for our Ask the Doctor segment. You can call in to our phone lines at 334-420-9732. Again, that's 420-9732 to ask your medical questions to Dr. Brian Sellers. Dr. Sellers, thank you so much for joining us. For having me. Remind us what kind of doctor you are and what you typically do at your office. Sure. So I'm a vascular surgeon. We work on diseases of the blood vessels in the body, not in the brain or in the heart, but, we, but mainly the abdomen, the arms, the legs. So we work on blockages in the legs, which typically cause people to have leg pain, cramping, or fatigue when they walk. Worst case scenario, it can cause gangrene and ulcers and tissue loss. We also do varicose veins. We do analysis work. We work on uh, aortic aneurysms, uh, just general vascular. Dr. Sellers, you recently added a general practitioner to your office. What does that mean in terms of helping your patients and what kind of services you'll be able to offer? Sure. Um, yeah, we are expanding the office. We are starting to offer primary care services. Dr. John Porter is a local internist. He's going to be doing, um, doing clinic through our office as well. We also have a family nurse practitioner that's going to be helping him with that. So general medical practice, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, all those important um, things for health maintenance. Hopefully address those things before they have to uh, to get to you necessarily to have more serious Absolutely. complications. Let's go to the phone lines now. We have Donald. Donald, what is your question for Dr. Sellers? Okay, I have PAD, right? Okay. So they tried to do, they tried to put a spin in, but they could. Mm -hmm. And they decided not to do the bypass surgery. What new medication or what do you suggest I should do? I am getting disability for it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, it depends on how bad your blockages are as far as what kind of procedures or surgical options there are. But it sounds like you've already been worked up and, and that stuff's already been attempted. So aside from that, eating a good healthy diet, uh, low fat, low cholesterol, high fiber diet would be a good thing to do. Exercise as much as you can. If you have the blockages like you're describing, I'm sure walking is going to be a difficult, but you have to try to do as much activity as you can. Uh, controlling other health issues like diabetes, high cholesterol is also very important. Yeah, I do have diabetes. Yeah. Is your blood sugar, how are your blood sugars pretty well controlled? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, the problem is, is that when you have plaque buildup in the arteries, there are things that contribute to that that you have no control over. So your age, your genetics, uh, your gender, family history, those kind of things are all set for you. So the plaque buildup may continue to get worse regardless of what you do, but you have to make good lifestyle choices. You really have to focus on exercise to try to make sure that you can have the best possible outcome. All right, thanks, Donald. Best of luck to you. Let's go to Lisa now in Banks. Lisa, go ahead with your question. Yes, um, my, both my legs and my ankles and my feet is all swelled up. What should I do? It depends on what the underlying cause of your leg swelling is. There are lots of things that can cause your leg to swell. It can be issues with your heart, issues with your kidney, your liver. It can be medication related. So the, the, the big thing is to try to get to the underlying cause and figure out why your legs are swollen. Um, another thing would be to make sure that you don't have any blood clots in your legs. So if this is a, a new issue, you probably need to get, go see your primary care doctor and have them check you out. Um, if this is more of a chronic issue you've been dealing with, we always start with conservative measures like leg elevation, uh, compression socks if you can tolerate it. Um, and you probably need to have your primary care doctor review your medications at minimum just to make sure there's not anything there that's contributing to it. Well, I, I also... Um sometimes fall because my legs are still swollen. Mm, mm. Yeah, it, leg swelling can, can be a significant problem for people. It can severely impact your lifestyle depending on how much swelling you have. Um, and there are things that we can do uh, to try to make the, the leg swelling better. There are some good physical therapy offices here in town that, that, that specialize in leg swelling. They can do lymphatic massage. They can help with compression wraps to help get the swelling down. Um, but things at home would be things like leg elevation. You want to you want to prop your ankles up, try to get them above your heart. Uh, do that uh, several times during the day. Uh, you have to modify your activity as well. Um, so there are conservative things that you can do to try to get the swelling under control. But I would recommend you talk to your primary care doctor and make sure there's not anything anything worse going on other than just generalized leg swelling. All right, thank you. Thank you for yes, calling, Lisa, and we wish you well. Dr. Sellers, you mentioned getting checked for blood clots. What are some signs and symptoms that you may have a blood clot? 
Sure. So when you have a deep vein thrombosis or a DVT, that can cause um, sudden onset of leg pain, leg swelling. The leg can be red, warm, uh, painful. Um, anything new like that, you need to get checked out. Um, obviously, one of the one of the complications of my blood clot that you want to avoid is a pulmonary embolism. Those clots in the vein can break loose. They can go to your chest, and that can be a fatal event. All right, Dr. Sellers, after the break, we're going to continue to our Ask the Doctor segment. More questions for you coming up. And if you have a question for Dr. Sellers, just call 334-420-9732.